I mean, you can see all the different components that they have. They have different sizes and, you know, all sorts of uh, you know, different components that you can buy, including the domed, uh, the domed piercing base. So you can actually put a, a ring or something inside of the riveting machine and it'll pierce through that. Uh, a note on quality, and this is sort of what really sold me. I, uh, you know, was at the PMC conference, I think maybe two or three times ago when they introduced it and, you know, there's a big huge crowd around the the table and I thought, what the heck is all of this about? And I thought, it's just a riveting tool, I don't really get it. But then I actually saw it up close in person and Anthony was, uh, the, the you know, one of the people at Metal Clay Findings, uh, was actually taking a nickel and putting a nickel in this, like, you know, quarter dime nickel, that thick, a nickel in it and piercing right through it. No problems yeah. at all. And it didn't bend, none of the threads broke. Um, it's it's an amazing, you know, pretty amazing piece of machinery. So I love it. It comes in a variety of different sizes that you can buy this size, and there's a, a wider one as well that you can, you know, it's called a long reach where you can put really thick things into it. And um, it's a huge time saver. And I wish that uh, I had this tool when I was working on this project that I'm going to show you here. Um, this project has, has 27 different rivets inside of it. And this is a metal clay on the back. And there's a piece of mother of pearl. And then each one of those silver discs were um, hand riveted. And I'm telling you, every single time, I, every hammer blow, I was holding my breath. And with a machine like this, you wouldn't be able to pierce through the mother of pearl. Obviously, you'd have to hand drill those. But just the time saving of using that machine on something like this would just be, you know, worth every penny of it. Right? Because so. you can line it up exactly where you want it very easily. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you twist it and you'll, you know, you won't have to worry about, you know, anything in terms of, uh, you know, things cracking or um, it just makes it so much easier. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, Isn't that a beautiful piece? I love that. Thank you. Love that. And the next piece, uh, and this is just, uh, me, you know, metal clay. So this is, you know, three layers. So the back is uh, a piece of um, Bakelite, which I carved. And then there's the metal clay in the background. And then there's a, the lava, antique lava cameo. And the whole thing was riveted together. Using whoa, a little whoa. riveting. You carved Bakelite? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then this next talented. one, uh, talent, talent, mm -hmm. simple copper discs that are made out of copper clay, and uh, I riveted those onto these uh, pieces of brass wire that I hammered, and uh, just did cold connection and riveted all the way. Hmm. Um, this is some new experimental things that I've been doing, but uh, one of the things that Metal Clay Findings does is they have these pre-made uh, blanks that you can buy. And so this thing in the background, um, that shape on top there, right, exactly, um, that's actually a bracelet blank. But of course, whenever I buy anything that's pre-made, I try to not use it for whatever it's used for. I try to switch <laughs> it up and change it. Mm -hmm. And so I basically riveted that onto the um, the box that I made there in the center, the little shadow box, which is filled with resin. And then you can see on the um, on the top portion, you can see the eyelets. Oh, right uh, here. The top right. Well, yeah, actually there and, oh, and here. the other right. one as well. Right, yeah. right. So you can see that. Handy little and then machine. I did the same thing with this. Of course, you don't have to use the riveting for cold connections. You can just use them as decorative elements as well. This, this I had a lot of fun taking up my aggressions because I took the bracelet blank and just sort of pounded it on the concrete. I was like, yeah, yes. Very nice. It's and a then great the texture. Thing. Riveted great. together. Yeah. Very nice indeed. Uh, and Mr. Patrick Cusick has a lot of class recordings. Um, he'll be teaching again after the new year, a fun new class. But there's so many great ones of his. You'll love it, all I'm saying. Just go check all those out. Um, Mary Ellen wants to say to you, please tell him he does beautiful all cap pieces. Love them all. Inspiring. And we'll probably do some riveting this weekend. Oh, thank see? you. Gwen, I see what you said. I can't repeat that though online. <laughs> <laughs> they are stunning everyone's work is stunning here so guess what we have a giveaway of uh-huh 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 guess what they are giving away here the nice people over here we have a giveaway yes some lucky winner is now going to win a riveting tool 
that whole oh, tool you just saw. I know. I'm telling you. They're they not are so cheap. generous to provide this because, yeah, I mean, this is like, you know, it's I, expensive. I tell people. I tell people that it's kind of like when you go and you buy the really nice hammers that you're going to have for a while. It's like that's what it's like a frets hammer. Yeah. Like this is the type of riveting machine that this is. It's like, yeah, I'm going to buy that. It's yeah. Cool. So it's they're around it's ninety dollars. So there you go. How much um, is it? Around ninety. Okay. But we also have a discount coupon code coming up too. But mm -hmm. let's pick a winner first. So, um, all right. So we have four hundred nineteen. Let's do a number somewhere within that. Mr. P. And the 419? Be, how about... <laughs> Between 1 and 419, yes. <laughs> how about number 300? Ronnie Bader Tables. Ronnie Yay! is one. Yay! Yippee! Let me write that down. Ronnie Bader Tables. Um, and Ronnie, make sure you send me an email, allison at craftcast.com, uh, with all the information. And um, I will get back to you tomorrow. And uh, that is very exciting. So congratulations. I know you're going to enjoy that. I love mine very much. Uh, and the people over here at metalclayfindings.com um, uh, Metal gave us also a coupon code, which is, I'll spell it out to you right now. It's giving you 10% off a rivet machine. So there you go. Uh, but you will get it in your email because I know these are sort of complicated. But for fiends who are listening and want it right away, uh, CCILT912. CCILT912. Actually, I think those are all um, ones. CC1LT912. So there you go. And again, that'll come in your email tomorrow so that you have it. And um, there is a longer reach cool. rivet machine as well, Melody. So there you go. So I want to thank those people over at metalclayfindings.com. Um, uh, .com. They have great stuff. I've ordered from them lots. So enjoy that. Thank you. Quality, quality stuff. Yeah. And, oh, and a special shout out to my friends in Louisiana. You guys, I know, uh, weathered Isaac, and um, I'm glad you guys are all okay. Yay. We always want everyone to be okay over there. So um, let's do a quick question here. Did Patrick make the box out of metal clay or was it pre-made box? I think that was pre-made, right? No, not pre-made. Um, I just cut it out of, um, I think, copper and brass. And folded it up. Okay. And just folded it up. Yeah. Paula said we are fine and chopping broccoli. Yeah, chopping broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> Inside jokes. Oh. I figured inside joke from down there. So there you go. I figured that much. All right. Oh, now I'm going to have that in my head. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't tell me I don't need anything else in my head tonight. There's something going fall. on. Anna's fall. Now it's uh -oh. fall. Well. Uh -oh. All right. Well, thank you, darling. Thank you for that on um, riveting. I love riveting. And for organizing that wonderful giveaway and um, a coupon code. Thank you so much to all those people over there. So let me know. Write to me, whoever just won. Ms. Ronnie. Uh, Pater Table. Thank you. All right. So next up, next up is uh, the wire wrangling queen, Ms. Brenda. Let hey. me open up all your pictures. Um, for any of you who don't know Brenda, oh my gosh, what she can do with the steel wire stuff, I'm just telling you, it's crazy, crazy I stuff. I feel a little out of place with all these wonderful clay artists, and I think I'm, I'm going to have to do some collaboration here. I think that's fabulous. I Don't mean, you, you know, the way I think is like it can all go together. I mean, that's what's so great. You get to buy more tools, and you get to um, uh, learn more fun stuff. Right. Have, have any of you guys tried the steel clay at all? I don't know, Patrick. Have you? Tried? Yeah, and no, I did a class with Hadar with the steel clay. Oh, you oh, did? Hadar. Yeah, it was and fantastic. Did you like it? it was. Yeah. I don't know. It's just sort of endless. It's it's hard to keep up with all of it, but we do try, don't we? Yes. There's always <laughs> else. Yes, Kamala just said yes. <laughs> steel shelf. clay. Georgie steel said yes. Clay. Love steel clay. All these awesome. people are like, yep, love steel clay. So there you go. There you cool. go. There you go. All right. So Ms. Brenda, tell everyone about. Now, not only is this a favorite tool, she also made this freaking tool and is selling it, which 
you know, women making tools, that's about as hot as it gets, I think. So I'm just saying, just saying, people. I know people like you do, Allison. <laughs> and look at her fingernails is what I want you to also notice as well. So now go ahead and Brenda, talk about your tool. <laughs> no, look at the tool. Don't look at my fingernails. Um, so this is, now that's a jig. Um, the story is, is that I've, you know, I wasn't really using uh, jigs because I thought, oh, you know, I don't, I need, I'm work so organically. Why do I need something that's going to make, um, you know, very specific shapes, shapes and stuff. Um, and, and really when I did the book, I started doing things like chain that I wanted, um, you know, many things to be the same. That's when I, I tried other jigs. Um, then I found out that they really don't work. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> So um, I had to make one that was going to stand, stand up to steel. Now, now that's a jig. You can use any kind of, uh, you know, wire, um, but you and even bezel wire. But um, all the pegs that you see that are are, th are threaded, and they fit into the over 400 holes that are you'll see into the left. Um, I'm doing this all out of order. Um, and the thing that I'm working with now is the toggle, uh, which is called the swivel lock. It's drilled off center so that you can actually trap the wire between your first peg or any peg, um, and then you can have use both your hands for for creating and bending your wire. And th the whole thing is is that I didn't want anyone to have to um, hold the jig down, hold the jig in place, right. hold the pegs in place, <laughs> and you can just use your hands to create. So that's that was my big bugaboo. It is. It's fabulous. And it stays placed and it does everything she just said because I've yeah. played with one. It is totally fabulous. So now we're going to show some of the things that you have made from it. Now, some of these, if you guys, if you took, there's a class recording as well where Brenda showed how to make a jig with nails. Actually, this is a piece she actually shows in that recording, um, which I love this chain link fence and crystals. Um, and she shows how to make the jig too, if you just want to try and play around with mm -hmm. nails. And then she also shows though other things that she's made using her jig, which I love all of this. It's all very anthropology. Ah. <laughs> love it. Fun. Yeah, I do do a class um, and, and did before I had developed the jig called low tech jig. And there is an article in um, not uh, in the last issue of Art Jewelry Magazine on how to do that. Um, but now you can just use the now that's a jig to do it. I mean, this shape here, it has so much potential, you know, because you can make uh, repeats so easily as what's great too, once you work it out. And then... Right, and even a shape like that, the the last one you had, Allison, was, yeah. you know, to do something like that with pliers uh, would just Forget be, about it. Yeah. Yeah. Forget about it's, it. And look at that. something symmetrical. I love this with the jig. That is so cute. So those are, tell everyone what those colored, um, the color material is. Yes, those are the new gemstone crystal pearls that are in the um, the gemstone colors. So they're mimicking, you know, lapis and coral and turquoise. And so they're just really fun. By I think they look like crayons myself. By Saborski, you said, right? Saborski yes. crystals? Yeah. Yes. I, it blows me away. I know it yeah. looks like candy. Love it. I know. I'm loving it too. <laughs> We're really into eating. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, <laughs> now wait and look at this one too. Love that. Love that with a little bingo piece right here. But as Hattie pointed out earlier when she was looking, oh, but that bingo game will never work again. This yeah. that piece. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't need 068. Exactly. Win. So I love that piece. Done with the jig. Um, love these new Savorsky crystals. I mean, too much fun. I know. Everyone's saying love it. I know. It's great. Totally great. Thank you. Um, so now we do have a few things which I love. Now, wait, let me get this correct and let me bring up your... Um, Take a look at this first, people, because I think this of this is fashion. I know it's not, but take a look at these gloves. I'll be ordering <laughs> them lately. You probably will as well. I'll talk about them. Brenda doesn't have to because I'm already in love with them and I don't own them, but they're sort of puncture resistant and they give you mm -hmm. all that extra grip you need, you know, when you're doing something. Mm -hmm. 
Am I saying it right so far, Brenda? I'm already sold on them. I think they're such a great Absolutely. idea. Absolutely. They're nice and tight fitting too. You can really get them at like your ace or true value. They're nitro gloves. Um, but for nitro, steel, okay. especially with a lot of women who have, you know, weakening hands or carpal tunnel arthritis, it's it's gives a good grip. Um, but it's not like a gardening glove idea. where you have so much more uh, you know, material at the at your fingertips. It's really it's really something that's gonna, gonna help you out. There you go. And so here is, you, you, if you go into Etsy and shop Brenda Sweater, she has her gloves in here. And then if you go up here, there's the Now That's a Jig. So you can look at all the jig materials. And now there's a discount code tonight for um, Brenda's store. And hers is Craft15. And you get Craft Cast 15. Oh, Craft Cast, sorry. Craft Cast, yeah. my mistake. And you get 15% off of everything? Anything in the store. <gasps> Ooh, I know buying gloves the biggest decision i'm going to have to make tonight is, is are they green or orange that i bought right. <laughs> and that's all i'm going to be thinking about do well, the i small want the orange the, or the green the, the oranges are small uh, oh fit like a small to medium hand and then the greens fit medium to large hand hmm. and all that's right. all explained in there okay so there you go guys how fabulous is that i know i love that and then yes your giveaway, right? Are you still doing your... Um... Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to show it. You explain it. So because we really want to get, we meaning me, <laughs> get this into everyone's hands and, and working with it, um, I'm doing a little promotion on my Facebook uh, fan page. Now that's a jig page. And one lucky winner will win uh, the basic... You want to scroll down? Is that a live yep, page? Yep, I can there? scroll down. Mm -hmm. Um will win the basic jig kit, which is the jig bed and um, the round pegs that you see that come with it. There's six of the one-eighth, four of the one-quarter, four of the one-half, and two of the three-quarter inch pegs. Uh, it's a $179 value. And how you can enter is that you, you have to like the page first, but then you actually uh, go into um, that enlarged, uh, you go right you go. in here, you click through. Yeah, great. And click then through. you tag it and you put your name you in the tag. tag it. And it's not saying how to tag it right there, is it? It isn't. Um, I think if sure. you pull up the bar there, that little. Just is it down here? The bottom of the picture. I knew Wannery would come on. There it is. Okay, there wait. You go. Options. Yeah. Yeah, Wannery is our. Options. Mm -hmm. No, it didn't get Have you liked us. the page? You have to like it. Oh, the you page have to like first. it. And you know yeah, what? It's probably yeah. not going to let me like the page because I'm like too many people. Let's see if it does. Oh, it did. Mm -hmm. Options. No, it still didn't let us do it. So what are we Never doing? Never fear, though. That it, last night we, we sort of worked through some of the bugs. And so I've got the whole in the in the next post that I do. That's right Go on there, guys. It. It's, it usually isn't that hard it to tag to yourself on the page <laughs> at all. I do it all the time. So, But you just want to go on to this particular Facebook page. Um mm -hmm. And uh, the now that's a jig page, and this right. is a good thing to do and maybe win this. So tag yourself on there, and um, and that way, you could bet in the drawing when Brenda makes a drawing for that. So um, right up till Saturday noon. There you go. There you go, people. How exciting <laughs> is that? Well done. All right, darling. Um, thank Thanks. you very much. And you know what? I do have. Maybe I'll use you to pick some. Do I need? Oh, I do. I need another number. Use me. Use me. I'm going to use you right now. Um, I was going to do this right after um, Patrick when we were talking about um, uh, rivets and stuff. The people at Microfasteners. I don't know. Do you guys know about Microfasteners? Yes. Okay. They're fabulous. And Tracy, no, not just share. You want to tag it. Tag your name on there is all you have to do. Like and tag. So you have to like the page, not the photo. Thank you, Paula. You have to like the page, not the photo, and then you can tag it. So there you go. Um so these are, they don't have great pictures, but this company here, microfastener.com, these are, these kits, they're all just fabulous. They're all just little um, cold connections. So you get all kinds of screws and, and bolts and all kinds of fabulous stuff and washers, all kinds of fun stuff. So uh, microfasteners uh, sent me a box of these to also award to someone out there. So um, I'm going to send that out to someone, but check them out. They have... Um, so many fun things to use. And I think they're for like 
model trains normally and, you know, model type stuff. But they did put together two different cold connection kits for jewelry because they realized us crazy people want to use it for jewelry as well. So um, I have both of them. I wouldn't really know the difference between number one and two. You sort of have to read through and look at all the numbers, but it's really fun. So um, they were very kind to donate a box of that. So Ms. Brenda, why don't you go ahead and pick a number and I'll pick a lucky winner. Oh, I'm shaking my head up. Um, <laughs> 79. <laughs> okay, we're 70. We're back here. We're back here. And we're Bingo. going to... No. Bingo. Oh, Bingo. Oh, it's, 79. It's, a, it's a guy, I think. Kevin, K E V E 9. Yeah. Oh, six. Don't confuse me. Kevin Carlton. Yay. Kevin. Well Kevin. done, Kevin Congrats. Carlton. Yes. Are you related? Are, is that you, Debbie? We are now. <laughs> yeah. Did you just sneak in there? What is going on? Um, all right, Kevin. I so didn't just. think about doing that. See? <laughs> <laughs> Steve, come on the computer. Like, yeah, really. <laughs> Get some other people on there. <laughs> oh, Michelle said she ordered stainless steel screws for her full-size aircraft. Okay, that's a whole other subject if you have a full-size aircraft. But... <laughs> there'll be a class on that next. There'll be a, yeah, there'll be a new class yeah. on that. Um, <laughs> so, all right, we've got to still figure out why the why – the, Lorene is like trying to tag that photo and it's still not happening. So we've got to figure yeah, out. Yeah, if everyone can – just um, look at everyone's posts and everyone just, uh, it's, it's a little tricky, but you can, if you keep trying, you can do You'll it. You'll get through it. All right. We're not, well, yeah, we'll make sure. It actually, and it works really, works really well. Good. So we'll get that figured out. So there we go. Micro fasteners, check them out. They're really cool things. And congratulations to our winner. Well, thank you very much. And now 